This path will lead you to an unholy place, a cemetery. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mark from Haunted Auckland here. Just spending a little bit of time um, outside or underneath um, one of my favourite Auckland based icons or iconic structures, and that is the Auckland Harbour Bridge. It's a fascinating little urban legend, or maybe it's a, um, a real life ghost story, I, I really don't know, but it's one that's been circulating for many years since the 80s, 1980s about this area, um, about a mysterious man that is seen fishing, it's thought to be a Chinese man who was seen fishing um, underneath one of these pillars here and he was quite a regular here and he would fish, he would sit up there for a whole day, a whole day and just fish and then suddenly he disappeared one day, it's thought that he drowned uh, because the tide does come right in here, it gets very deep and the scaffolding would have been completely submerged and uh, during storms or sort of high weather times that uh, can get quite rough out here so he possibly was knocked off possibly was knocked off his, uh, his perch there since then uh, many people have claimed to have seen um, a mysterious shadow figure just sort of hovering just above the water under one of the pillars that not everybody sees. The majority of Auckland City or those visiting Auckland would just sort of travel over the top. They wouldn't actually come underneath and see this. Many concrete pillars as you can see. And uh, we get a lot of people coming here and fishing off the rocks over there. So um, it's an area that's sort of well enjoyed by the locals here. We get a lot of people coming here and fishing off the rocks over there. So uh, this is the one where the apparition is seen. It's seen right there against that bit right there, just sort of hovers just above the water. There's the shadow figure, about the, sh the size of a person, they just sort of seem hovering there against the concrete, and then he sort of just disappears as quickly as he's seen. And underneath the water right there is the remains of what used to be some sort of steel scaffolding or some sort of rusted steel platform at some point, so... So if you can imagine there was... Um, up against that middle pillar there, you can imagine there was an old rusty piece of scaffolding, a little structure that was made, possibly a remnant from when the, the bridge was made, we don't really know, uh, maybe it was something that somebody had made so they could purposely fish off, we don't know, but uh, when the tide goes out and it's just mud and sand down there, you can actually walk out there and you can actually see remnants of um, some sort of rusty old scaffolding structure, there was something there sort of back up the story there was something there at some point it's an interesting story um, yeah it's one that it's uh, I've always enjoyed and um, I do like coming here and spending you know an hour or so just sort of sitting and when the tide's out just 
wandering around the pillars. But it is seen by many people, it has been seen for many years. And I come back here quite regularly in the hopes of capturing it on film or taking a photograph, but uh, no such luck yet. But I thought I'd show you anyway, I thought I'd take you here and have, you know, show you around. And uh, directly underneath the Harbour Bridge, which is where I am now, directly underneath it, you get an amazing view of Auckland City. But there's also this uh, commemorative plaque which was placed here a while back, uh, in the memory of those lost uh, during the uh, construction of the Auckland Harbour Bridge. So this is quite a nice uh, remembrance for these that put a lot of effort into building this amazing structure. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of Auckland City, a bit of Auckland urban legends, or maybe real ghost story, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.